This is industry takeover. This is industry takeover. This is the place where Industry takeover. My name is Fusion. I'm part of Urban Development. We're bringing you the industry takeover, yeah? Throughout the whole day from 12 o'clock, we brought you seminars. We brought you showcases from up and coming emerging artists. Open mic talent, you're not feeling the open mic? to get out there and show people our talent as well, meet new people and learn from them. And what you give, give me lets me know that it'll we'll be all right. It's Hammer right now. Mic check one, two. I'm taking over industry takeover, yeah? Yo, I came back to the game. Now I got the whole crowd charting my name. Six months, I released two videos, one mixtape. That'll put an artist to shame. It's a great opportunity to show people what I can do. Where do I find? Blessing to do to do something like this, that you know, music development. I think it's an amazing thing because it showcases talent that's undermined and underlooked. See, I choke off the air these days, inhale the exhale with so much hate. Certain individuals have started slipping, falling off their own skates because paranoia caught them, avoiding the chase. My name is Nadia Walker Lewis and I am an IFE model. I'm involved in the fashion show today, so I'm modelling for Box Fresh. Um, Master shorty has got a new clothing line, so I'm modelling for him, and I love a brand called Down With It. is about, for me personally, getting my face out there, um, creating an awareness of youthful black models such as myself and my fellow models here, and just showing people how it's done. representative number one, representing the sound of the UK all day, every day. It's all about industry takeover, very big and serious. Get some knowledge, learn something. In my opinion, I don't think there's ever a scenario where an artist is selling out really. I just think it's about evolution and growth and an artist trying to express themselves in different ways. I think if you're a musician or an artist, you you have the right to be creative in whatever direction you want. I think you need to probably create as many ripples that will take the alternative waves as possible. I think you just want activity rather than waiting for, you know, for the perfect opportunity, which often doesn't arrive. I think it's about constantly you know, getting your stuff out there. If you look at it from a wider scale, a lot of Americans will look at it and go, yo man, they're copying up, man, I ain't like this shit. But I think <laughs> what's happening now, I've gone to Europe and a lot of the hip hop artists that the backpacker style, like foreign beggars and so forth, they're all jumping on the dubstep sound. So it depends on where you see yourself and where it'll go on the radio. Don't just get us talk to each other primarily because I bet you lot, there's a lot of skill sets in here that would complement one another. And also I think um, you remember as well, you never know where someone's going to be in a few years' time. Another important thing is money. You have to be not be scared to put money into your music. Um, that's one of the real important issues. Be original mm -hmm. and unique. Be tenacious and persistent and work really, really hard. If you see what everyone else is doing, you do something different because if you're unique, then you'll stand out. And that's, that's in everything, like that's even in terms of um, your approach. Like as a label, when we bring people in to do stuff, how I got, how I ended up working at Island was um, I just went in there and said I have, I've got some ideas. 
potentially like I had the relationship, it's not that easy, you can't just wait in the manager's office. Like, like, pretend you're cleaning or something. Um, like yeah, you've got to just have something unique. So you just say, look, and sometimes you've got to sit and think. I was like with Tinch, there's a few gaps here, and I did that, consulted with Tinch, I was consulting with anyone. And then the job came up. You as an artist, you need to put the business head on as well and think of yourself as a product because you need to think from the audience's point of view how how would they want to see you. What you try to do is actually like a pitch into an A&R. It's not actually you're actually selling the music. You're selling yourself as a brand. Um, and that's what it really is to down to. Boy Fusion, you're right here in Rich Mix, it's an urban development thing, and this is industry takeover. It's about young people learning how to get into the industry, and the more of them know how to do it professionally, the more likely it is the urban scene's gonna grow. We can all start eating properly from the, the, the talent that we have as well. Okay, before I start, I just want to let you know, a couple of years ago, before I started going hard with my music, I came to a seminar just like this. I um, spoke to quite a few influential people. I made a lot of contacts, and it's really, really helped me. So if you are really interested in music, then this definitely is a fantastic place to be. I feel pretty, and I'm pretty damn fly, living in the dolly house, in the dolly house life. I wake up every morning to a pretty pink sky, and pretty and pink, Vicky said to say hi. Two sugars, one cup of pink tea, so really good queen. Make some noise, you D V C. Coming up, big and strong. This is where we belong. belong. It's our time to shine. Yeah. Ah, you're my sunshine. It feels so good when I'm with you. But if I give you a chance, then you're gonna end up no good. Better not. I don't trust guys to feel the need that they constantly must lie. But not always, just most time. You're not all the same, it's just most guys. Make some noise for night. Every time I leave you, it doesn't last. But I think it's time I let go. Don't think we're gonna survive. Feel like I'm against the tide. It's like a relationship. It's gonna be feeling seasick. Make some industry takeover noise. For Grimado! Straight, beat and back, green gate. Now the one that comes to my door like a Christmas carol. Don't come if you're not down like shadow. Age, hey, come on, girl, turn the page. Who trying to talk like you're some kind of adult? The girl don't know a safe fly like Sparrow. Now they want me on the iPod, I know. We got urban development and industry takeover. Red Tree 2 said it, I'm called signing it all day. Ah, uh, she, she likes to tease, tease me. me. But I'm out of the with ET. Let's you know the rest is greasy. Easy. We'll get connected. Why you gonna be, be like, like that? that? I ain't trying to be your man. man. Run it! Babe, I see but your plan. In fact, I'm on it to be proud to meet your man. Oh my gosh! And let me have some fun right now. Yo, forget taking the sort on the floor. Chubby P like there's a bell fucking in both. MCs like me, running the road. MCs like P, coming to go. MCs like me, style upon style. MCs like P, couple of flows. MCs like me, performing the floors. MCs like who, couple of flows. What's up, it's your boy Master Shorty here at the Industry Takeover and whole type oh, urban oh, development. Oh, I'm bringing it back. Hey, I'm bringing it back. Let's take 
take it back to the 80s, 30s, dancing Patrick Swayze. Star was crazy back in the day, nothing phased me. We're up in Rich Mix, it's the end of the whole event. Come up to nine o'clock and we've been there since about 12 o'clock. It's been the industry takeover and we have taken over the whole building, bro. The cinema, all of the spaces, the main area, the mezzanine, the basement, the cafe, everything. And we just had an incredible industry event, man. Throughout the day, we had different projects. We had a um, company called Rising Tide, Street Life FM, I Feel Experience, Fang Radio, Bigger Fish, a whole bunch of companies in the main area, which had like a market stall. So what they were doing was showing people their wares, fashion, different brands, brands like D101, um, Live Magazine. In the basement, Rising Tide did a production workshop. So if you're an up and coming producer, hitting the boards, trying to make music on Logic, you can work on your music. We took over one of the cinemas and we had a screening of one of the films by a guy called Femi from Adulthood called Fresh Off The Boat. We also had some seminars going on as well. How to Steal My Job was incredible. People just talking about how you can get into industry and if you've got the savvy and the skill, you could take over their job in 2011. And we also had underground to overground. Talking about how artists go from the underground and maybe switch up their style in order to get a mainstream success. We had the emerging stage, open mic, and we closed the show on this most amazing Master Shorty, we had Wretch Free 2, Criminal, Nye, Princess Naya, incredible artists all stepping on stage. And the people earned it, I think. They've been here since 12 o'clock and they earned the opportunity to see some great artists, man. The industry takeover thing, it's all about you lot taking over, yeah?